and Penny Cluster on the Damage 365 Radio Network. And welcome to episode number 83 of Real Sports Talk with Kenny Kluska. Of course, I'm your host, Kenny Kluska, here for another exciting episode of Real Sports Talk with Kenny Kluska for the 83rd time. Um, Let's start off today's show uh, by saying congratulations to Jimmy Johnson. I know I have two um, avid listeners Alex and Keith, who both are big NASCAR fans. Alex likes Jimmy Johnson. Keith does not. Sorry, uh, Keith, but uh, Jimmy Johnson won the Bank of America 500 today, and that is his 78th career win for the six-time champion in NASCAR. So congratulations, Jimmy Johnson, for winning today's race. Um, Let's get started on what I want to speak about, though. Um, Second half of the show, I'll be talking a little NBA, uh, particularly, um, you know, some well-known players who will be playing in uniforms that people are not used to seeing them in. Um, You know, a couple really big names that are on new teams for this upcoming season, which is coming soon. Um, We'll start off with uh, what I do normally most weeks, uh, what's coming up in sports. Uh, Tonight is WWE's next pay-per-view. This one is a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. No Mercy, uh, main event being a triple threat for the WWE Heavyweight Championship, currently held by AJ Styles, uh, defending against the man he defeated to win the belt. Dean Ambrose, and uh, 15-time champion John Cena. Cena, if he is able to prevail and win the title, would tie Ric Flair for the record of 16 World Heavyweight Championship reigns. So, um, you know, that's definitely something to look for. Um, Other um, key matches in the pay-per-view, tag title match, SmackDown tag titles, the Usos, Uh, The challengers for the tag team titles, which are currently held by Heath Slater and Rhino. Uh, Intercontinental match, uh, Miz defending his IC belt against Dolph Ziggler, who is putting his career on the line. Uh, You know, if he is unable to win the belt, he has said he will leave the WWE. And Randy Orton is facing Bray Wyatt. There was also supposed to be a SmackDown women's title match between uh, champion Becky Lynch and the challenger Alexa Bliss. Um, Hasn't been announced by the WWE, but reports are that Becky Lynch is injured and will be unable to compete. So, uh, you know, we'll see what they'll do, um, you know, with that. Um... If it's a serious injury, if she'll have to give up the belt, um, you know, we'll probably have more news on that once No Mercy begins. So that is tonight. Um, We have two major sports seasons beginning really soon. I mentioned the NBA. Uh, The NHL is right around the corner, though, as the regular season begins in four days. Um, There will be four games taking part on that day, so uh, hockey fans are very excited, Uh, you know, coming up this Thursday, the NBA season, uh, as I mentioned, coming up soon, it is officially just 16 days away from the NBA regular season, Um, you know, as I mentioned, I'll be naming, I'll be mentioning uh, some very important players who are on new teams uh, during the second half of the show, uh, the same day as the NBA season opener is the beginning of the World Series. World Series Game One is also 16 days away. Um, right now, in the opening divisional round of the MLB playoffs, hasn't been all that much drama as three of the four series are currently uh, 2-0 leads. 
Uh, we have the um, Indians up 2-0 on the Red Sox. Game 3 has been postponed. It was supposed to be today due to the rainout. We'll take part tomorrow. Uh, you know, Red Sox, uh, you know, 2-0 deficit. Seems like a small order when they overcame that 3-0 deficit against the Yankees, um, you know, a little over a decade ago uh, to advance to the World Series and end, and ending their uh, World Series drought by winning that World Series uh, 2004. Um, then we also have the Texas Rangers and the Toronto Blue Jays, and the Blue Jays have been lighting up the Rangers uh, on offense. Uh, had four home runs in Game 2, and they're not facing slouches of pitchers. You know, former World Series MVP, um, excuse me, Cole Hamels in Game 1, and then Hugh Darvish in Game 2. Um, we have Colby Lewis uh, t taking the mound for the Rangers tonight against Aaron Sanchez and the Blue Jays. Blue Jays will look for the three-game sweep. Uh, that game will take part at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on TBS. Uh, Rangers hoping to, uh, you know, stay alive after tonight in the National League. Cubs were able to win yesterday, even getting a home run from... Relief pitcher Travis Wood, they take a 2-0 lead, and they will be looking for the three-game sweep come tomorrow. And in a game that just ended, we finally have something, uh, you know, resembling a series right now where, um, you know, a uh, team is not on the verge of being swept. That is because the Nationals have officially defeated the Los Angeles Dodgers 5-2 in Game 2 of the NL Divisional Series. This is after the Dodgers took Game 1, so the Nationals have tied the series up at 1 apiece. So three of the four series um, could potentially be sweeps, but the Nationals ensure that one of the series, um, you know, will not end in a sweep. Um, so, you know, a lot more baseball coming up. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, you know, not much drama in these games. Uh, the wild card games, though, did have a lot of drama. Of course, the, in the American League wild card game, the Blue Jays winning in extra innings over the Baltimore Orioles, five to two. Uh, you know, of course, there was a little bit of controversy with that. Well, not really controversy, but you know, should have Buck Showalter brought in. You know. Maybe one of the most dominant closer seasons of all time. We've seen Zach Britton. What do you have, like a .45 ERA? Should he have brought him in that game? Uh, brought in Ubaldo Jimenez, who, uh, you know, allowed two straight guys to get on before Edwin Encarnacion crushed a home run, um, ensuring that the Toronto Blue Jays would advance. Uh, in the NL wild card, you had to expect it to have been, you know, a classic pitcher's duel. Um, you know, when you got Madison Bumgarner, um, you know, maybe doesn't have quite a ton of playoff experience, uh, you know, six, seven starts, but, you know, just been completely dominant, former World Series MVP, and against Noah Syndergaard of the Mets, uh, you know, Syndergaard threw seven scoreless innings, but the Mets bullpen could not hold it, uh, Connor Gillespie, three-run home run, Giants win three-nothing, Bumgarner pitches a complete game shutout, so, you know, both wild card games were really classic games, um, as, you know, was pretty much expected, and, you know, a 2-0 series deficit is, you know, far from over, you know, it's been done before, as I mentioned, the Red Sox overcame a 3-0 deficit, um, you know, so still plenty of baseball to watch, and, you know, the championship series should be good, uh, you know, definitely a lot of respect to the Indians, though, uh, you know, going up 2-0, um, if they are able to win one, at least one of the next three games, we, you know, have three opportunities to beat the Red Sox, you know, lost two of their three key starters, uh, in Danny Salazar and Carlos Carrasco, you know, most people probably counted them out, uh, without having those two pitchers, um, in their rotation, but here they are, just one win away from the ALCS, um, you know, so we'll see if they'll be able to pull out the series win and take on either the Blue Jays or Rangers, looking like the Blue Jays in the ALCS. Of course, today is also week five of Sunday NFL football. There's been, you know, a few storylines in the early games. Of course, Tom Brady's four-game suspension officially over. 
um, you know, couldn't have faced, um, you know, a better opponent, you know, to get, shake the rust early, um, you know, winless Cleveland Browns, uh, Brady finished the game 28 of 40 for 406 passing yards and three touchdowns, um, you know, didn't even play in the fourth quarter, so, uh, you know, no rust in Tom Brady's game. You also saw Frank Gore uh, surpass Jim Brown for ninth all-time in rushing yards. Congratulations to Gore, uh, who will likely at some point this season also pass Tony Dorsett for eighth place all-time in rushing yards. Uh, you know, and that really got me to thinking, um, you know, is Frank Gore a Hall of Famer? Um, you know, in his 12th season, now as I mentioned, uh, ninth all-time in rushing yards. Uh, he's made five Pro Bowls in his career. Eight times has ran for over 1,000 yards. Came very close to making it a ninth last season. Um, what is, you know, what might make you believe that he's not a Hall of Famer is, you know, you just never... Throughout his career, he's always been seen as a very good running back. Uh, you know, you can't question that. But, you know, was there ever a season where, you know, when people would rank the starting running backs or just the running backs in the NFL, was he ever considered, you know, a top three running back in any particular season? Now, he had one very good season, which was his, one spectacular season, I should say, which was his second season uh, in the NFL with the 49ers when he rushed for 1,695 rushing yards. Um, you know, as I mentioned, 8,000-yard seasons, but he's been a very consistently good running back. Um, you know, but only one season in his career has he had at least 10 uh, total touchdowns. Uh, he's never been a first-team All-Pro um, you know, his 4.4 yards a carry for his career is solid. Uh, you know, he's I believe he has over 300 receptions in his career and 13 receiving touchdowns. Um, you know, so he has done some work out of the backfield. Um, you know, it's just a major, uh, you know, if you're going to go with his longevity of, you know, being a consistently very good running back, or are you going to look at, you know, was he ever, you know, an elite running back in the NFL? You know, that's a that's a question, um, you know, that's tough to answer. Um, in my opinion, I think he does get in. Um, but, you know, not exactly a shoe in Probably won't get in first ballot. Uh, you know, he still has work to do, too. Uh, you know, still playing here uh, this season for the Colts. Uh, we'll see if his career will continue after the season. Uh, you know, but either way, it's been quite the career for Frank Gore. Um, you know, will be in the top eight in rushing yards all time um, coming soon. Um, Philadelphia Eagles with a... Surprising loss um, to the Detroit Lions today. Um, we're one of three undefeated teams going into the week. Uh, you know, with their one-point loss to the Lions, they are. It is now just two undefeated teams. The Denver Broncos are currently playing now. They are four and zero. But right now, I believe they are losing. Uh, yes, ten to three Falcons right now. Um, with 4:19 left in the second quarter, uh, Paxton Lynch making his first career start uh, due to the injury to Trevor Semyon. Um, the other undefeated team, uh, you know, lost Teddy Bridgewater before the season, lost Adrian Peterson um, in I believe week two uh, or three. Um, but they're still going strong. Destroyed the Houston Texans today. Uh, Minnesota Vikings 5-0. and One of two current undefeated teams. And if the Broncos cannot come back, the Vikings will be the only undefeated team in football. And there's only one winless team in football.